closer. There you go. Just hold it there. You'll be all right. Might be getting someone taller. Right, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> the big candle represents Jesus, the risen Savior, the light of the world. And uh, you could just like just, just hold it straight up so it doesn't drip the wax all over the floor for you. Otherwise, you say you're guilty. <laughs> Okay, it symbolizes Christ, the light of the world, and uh, every Easter, a new candle is used. Now, if you all could just back up a little bit so people behind can see. Okay, we don't want And it has on it here two letters of the Greek alphabet. The alpha, the first, and the omega, the last. Christ is the beginning and the end. The end right. And this, of course, is a cruise cross to show that uh, he was crucified for us. And these are the, symbolizing the wounds, okay? It was the hands, the feet, the head, and the lance in the side. And that's changed out every year. A new one is made just specially for Easter. Well, the Lord made the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. May he soon touch your ears to hear his holy words and your lips to proclaim his faith to the glory of God. May he touch your ears to receive his holy word and your lips to proclaim his faith to the glory of God. May he touch your ears to receive his holy words and your lips to proclaim his faith to the glory of God. I can show you this. 